War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. Subject has been performing adequately. No spikes in visuals. Nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. How are they in appearance? I'm certain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. And with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development? Gentlemen. I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. See that it's done. Seems to be rousing a bit. Not to worry. Let's put them back under.
got no power. The bloody thing won't budge. Lay off it, Johnny. You're more useless than a fucked clock. Winston, you have a go. You got it, boss. Uh-huh. Yeah, no power. I can remove it from the main network. But... What the fuck's that on the camera? Right outside, look. It may one of the floors. I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the wrong way. Rerouting to emergency power. Where are you going? I doubt you'll make it far, someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. But alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Off you go, then. Be seeing you. Emergency decontamination in effect. Going up. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Escaping all that hubbub, with all you've been through, I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Since I'm really for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe. And remember, mind the gap. <laughs> <laughs> 